Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will build a 1 to 32 scale MiG 21 UM two seater trainer from Tumpet. In quality, the kit is very decent in details. It comes with lots of options and accessories like a removal or rear section of the fuselage, jet engine, a trolley, pilot figure, rubber tires, and metal landing gear. I hope for the best that this project will be without major problems. In fact, I will build this model completely out of the box, no resin or photo edge parts included. Alright, I'm very excited. Let's start the build. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for not missing any new notifications. I assume that the build of this project will take much longer. Therefore, I will divide the build into several videos. In this video, I will focus on building the cockpit and the ejection seat, painting them and weathering. First, I cut out all necessary parts with pliers. The plastic is a little bit hard. I will also try my best to observe and share with you about the impression during the build, whether it will be good or complicated. The next step is cleaning the part with a sharp hobby knife. When the cleaning is done, I smooth out the edges with a sand stick. Here we have the first problem. The cockpit top and side panels have pinholes. They must be filled up with putty and sanded down. You can choose a highly diluted Mr. White Putty R from Mr. Hobby like I do. Or if you want to, fill the peel holes with Tamiya Epoxy Putty. It's on you. I helped myself a little bit and removed the excess layer of putty with a chisel. Then I sanded the areas underwater with a fine sandpaper. Let's assemble the ejection seats. It's a two-seater aircraft, so I assemble both pieces right away. The assembly was without major problems, but it looks like some parts have fitting problems. In some areas were tiny gaps showing, but they will be filled up later with a surface primer. The main problem of the ejection seats are the seat belts. They look too small and inaccurate. I must create my own ones from duct tape, copper and lead wires. Let's create metal buckles. I wrap a copper wire around a thin but strong plastic plate. The shape must be as good as possible all around. Now I will cut the copper wire into small pieces. For this you need a very sharp blade and more force. Then I bend the wire into a desired shape, in this case is the shape of a C or O. I cut oblong strips of the same width from a duct tape and then shorten them into desired length as needed. 
Then I just pass the duct tape over the buckles and make the belts out of them. This technique is easy and fun. For more details, I add adjustable holes into the straps. Let's glue the seat belts into place. The strap scratch build does not end yet, more have to be made, so more work. The duct tape that I'm using is sticky, but for a much better bond I use super glue. Let's also glue the second badge of straps to the seats. For gluing I use super glue. For this work step I concentrate a lot and work slowly. By the way, if you are interested and want to see a more detailed video about creating seat belts, let me know in the comments. For more requests, I will gladly do a video about it. For a stretch build, the ejection seats look good. Finally, let's add a surface primer and paint all the cockpit parts. I'm building a machine that served for two decades in the Air Force. I want to create a weathered and cheap of interior. Therefore, I paint all the parts with an aluminum coat. This time, I will not use chipping fluid, but just an ordinary hairspray. I spread two layers on each part and let them dry for 20 minutes. Now I can paint the cockpit top in panels azure blue and the ejection seat with light gray. When it's done, I paint all the small details like straps, buckles, panels, switches, push buttons and much more with a thin paintbrush. In fact, this work step took me most of the time. I really like this work step. After a few days of painting tiny details, it finally started to look like a cockpit. The hardest part was painting the indicator rings, small panels and switches. I concentrated so much that I almost did not breathe. Ok, before I get into something more interesting, let's enjoy the painting.
Let's create stretches. Okay, the paint sits on the hairspray. You don't need no water. Peel off the paint using only a toothpick. This technique is very easy and simple. You just need to be very careful not to overdo it. Study a lot of photographs and create stretches only on surfaces that were often used. Surfaces like on the deck of the rudder pedals, throttle levers, side panels, push buttons and so on. Next is weathering. First, I seal the painted parts with a layer of glossy varnish coat. This time, I will use enamel washes from Mickey Mellis. I don't use this product so often anymore. Tamiya washes are better in my opinion, but I want to create a darker pattern look on some panels. Oh, and by the way, the kit does not include any rudder pedals. They are created from scratch also. After cleaning with a cotton swab, the Make Him Less wash lets a fine patina look. Honestly, I use these washes on my armor vehicles the most. The wash can be easily blended with the enamel thinner. Now I seal the wash with a layer of semi-gloss coat. I use a combination of mud and gloss varnish. The kit includes a thin plastic indicator pedal. It must be cut out and dry fitted a lot of times. After some dry fitting, I glue the panel with super glue. The back panel must be painted white so that the indicators stand out after gluing. For a kit piece, the indicator panel looks good. Finally, I can assemble the cockpit together. The fit is very tight. Too tight. The worst part was to glue the rear indicator panel. I had to be very careful. For a reason, I did not glue the ejection seats. I will glue them into place after the whole MIG assembly. If you want to find out why, stay in touch for my next episodes. At the end, I glue the control sticks. And the cockpit of the Trumpeter's MIG 21 UM is finished. The build so far is good. There are imperfections, but for an average or skilled model it's not a big deal. In fact, I will use this build as a template for my Trumpeter 1232 scale MiG-21 MF build. I hope you like this video build. Please subscribe to my channel, like or leave a comment down below. If you want to see more of my projects, join me on Instagram or Telegram. There is a link in the description. 
In the second part of the MiG-21 UM build, I will focus on building the jet turbine, avionics panels, wheel wells and landing gear. Until then, stay awesome and see you next time!